with fashion and beauty products that support breast cancer awareness. Today on the KTLA 5 Morning News at 11 a.m. West Covina police are searching for two men in connection with the shooting death of a beloved store clerk. It happened last night just before 9 o'clock at Big Bob's Liquor Store um, and Market on West Puente Avenue. Investigators say the suspects were trying to steal alcohol when the victim tried to stop them. The unidentified clerk was transported to the hospital where he died. It's unclear which one of the suspects shot the victim. Police say the suspects may have driven, driven away in a white SUV. A couple of dangerous street takeovers in South LA overnight. In one incident, people were hanging out of the windows of the truck of a white BMW, trunk of a white BMW. The driver's back tire hit the median. Another, during another takeover, a car caught fire. You could see flames shooting from underneath it. When the driver stopped, the crowd gathered around and you could hear people yelling for water. No one appeared to be injured in either incident. The crowd eventually dispersed before police arrived. New at 10 celebrity chef and former Food Network star Michael Chiarello has died. His company says the 61-year-old passed away in a hospital in Napa, where he's being treated for anaphylactic shock after, uh, which was caused by an allergic reaction. The restaurant owner and Emmy winner hosted several shows on TV networks and was named Chef of the Year and Food and Wine Magazine in 1985. Chiarello was accused of sexual harassment and workplace abuse in a 2016 lawsuit, denying the claims and settling the suit the following year. The LAPD has released new dash camera video and it shows two officers ignoring calls for backup to play Pokemon Go. The department says the video shows officers Louis Loz uh, Lozana and Eric Mitchell playing the popular smartphone game while fellow officers were asking for help responding to a robbery. The LAPD disciplinary panel unanimously ruled that the pair broke department policy and lied to supervisors about the 2017 incident. They appealed their termination, but last year, a lower court found the firings were justified. Yeah, that was the time when we had that craze, everyone playing Pokemon Go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now Mr. Kiske, are we headed for a cool down? We're headed for a cool down, yes, by about the middle of the week. Even today, a little bit cooler. But before I get into the weather forecast, I really want to, first of all, mention I was uh, co-hosting or hosting an event. It was a Texas Hold'em poker tournament on Saturday night, and it was all to raise money uh, for basically health care for homeless animals and uh, funding medical care for homeless pets at the Agora Animal Care Center. Uh, I don't know much about poker, but uh, thank goodness <laughs> <laughs> other people do. Tammy Ryder did a great job putting the whole event together, and thank you for having me out there. It was a lot of fun, and, and as, I, as I opened up with, like you said, I really don't know anything about poker. Yeah. And when I do go to Vegas, I don't know anything about gambling. When I do go to Vegas, and this is like... A, I go to Vegas, the, the old town Vegas. There you can play dollar blackjack. There you can get a dollar beer and a dollar hot dog. In old Vegas, Talk if you walk in now. with a hundred bucks, they call you Mister. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull your chair out for you. Yeah. Uh, anyway, great evening, and uh, hopefully we uh, managed to, or you guys managed to raise a whole lot of money. All right, in Long Beach, 68 at the moment in Santa Ana, 67 degrees, 75 in Riverside. Big